Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. The past six months, I've been trying the Dr. V Lip X Kit to try to lighten up the dark areas around my lips. Throughout this journey, I've shared with you guys updates at two weeks, at 30 days, at three months, and today will be the final update at six months. If you haven't already seen those videos, I will link them down below so you guys can check them out. To reiterate, I am not sponsored by Lip X to share any content about this product. Back in August, Dr. V shared on her Instagram that she was releasing the kit and she was asking if anybody was interested in trying it. I responded to that message, she sent me the products, and that was the end of our communication. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and hair related videos. If that is something that you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed, and without further ado, let's get started. So a quick recap, a little bit about the products. This is the Dr. V Lip X Kit. They are created by Dr. Benita Ratan, who shares her knowledge about hyperpigmentation as it concerns people with black and brown skin tones. Comes with three products. So first we have the lip scrub. We have the lip mask, which is where you're gonna get the bulk of the lightning um, power. And then we have the lip balm. Now these products are all packed with tyrosinase inhibitors and that is what's going to be inhibiting your skin from producing more melanin and getting more darker, as well as ingredients to lighten up or fade the appearance of dark spots. Now these are fine if you already naturally have dark lips, as well as if you have had darkened lips from um, irritation or eczema, so on and so forth. Forth. Now a little bit about my lip history so you guys will know if this product will work for you. As someone with deeply melanated skin, we tend to just have darkness around our mouth. Now this can be caused by various reasons. Our skin is naturally pigmented in a way that is very discolored and um, you know that's that's normal and there's nothing wrong with that of course. This method is not to bleach your lips, it's to fade pigmentation. I naturally have pretty dark lips. The top of my lip is usually very, very dark, especially in the summer. And I have actually a scar, I suppose you would say, or a chemical burn sort of around my lips. Um, this is because when I was younger, I used to have eczema around my lips. And I used to compensate for the dryness by loading my face up with Vaseline or in a pinch by licking them with my saliva. So I do have a, a pretty significant saliva burn. Um, that's TMI. But anyways, a little bit of a burn around my lips. The lips themselves also tend to be dark in the, the, the summer um, because of the sun. That's kind of what happens. And sometimes when I don't drink enough water or I don't sleep too much, I do tend to have darkened lips. As for the ingredients, I went into a detailed review about the ingredients and my thoughts on them in the first video that I posted, I believe. So I'll link it up above so you guys can see it. Now let's get into the comparisons. Compared to what my lips look like pre-treatment, you can definitely see that there is a significant um, brightening of my lips. I did have a very dark upper lip specifically, and that has very gradually, very gently lightened up. Um, I obviously have some sort of coloration on my lips still because as a darker skin tone person, you do have darkness on your lips, but it's nowhere near to where it was. 
I did get a couple of comments of people saying that they wanted the initial photo to resemble or be in the same lighting. I tried to get the lighting as best as I could. Currently I'm using a ring light as well as natural lighting both together, which mimics what I used in the second video that I posted. So hopefully it's a little bit more accurate at this point, but I feel like my lips do look a lot brighter and I'm very, very pleased with the way it looks. Compared to what it looked like at the three month mark and at the six month mark, um, to be honest, I haven't used it as diligently as before. So perhaps if I did, it'd be even more significant, but I don't really feel like there's much of a difference. I think that this kit will really give you results in three months, depending on how severe your darkening is. My lips were not that severely darkened, so it took me uh, three months. If you do have darker pigment than me, then you'll definitely see it in around the six month range. Pretty much I've been using the kit once a week or so to just maintain my lips. Now it is recommended to use the lip balm every single night regardless of whether you've used the whole scrub and mask at all, but I to be honest maybe use it two or three times a week. Um, but yeah, so it's very minimal. At this point, I'm just upkeeping what my lips look like and I do wear SPF on my lips, which has significantly assisted. I will post a photo in maybe June on my community tab so you guys can see if the summer has anything to do or if it affects the, the, the pigment on my lips as well. So a little bit about my experience with this product. I mentioned before that when you first start using these products, your lips are gonna feel dry. Um, that's just the nature of it. If you're doing anything new, if you're introducing any, any actives into your routine, um, this is specifically your lips, you are going to see some drying. Your lips are some of the thinnest skin that you have. This is why they typically look pink and they're not as pigmented as the rest of your face. Obviously your skin is generally not pink, but your lips are, right? So there's a lack of pigment there and your, your lips are a little bit thinner. So if you're gonna be doing something exfoliating your lips and putting on a mask, so on and so forth, you're gonna see your lips get dry. And that's something I really did notice in the first 30 days of using these products. As of today's date, today is March 13th, I don't experience any dryness on my lips. Um, my lips just revert back to normal, to be honest, and I'm very pleased with the way that it came out. I don't have any stripping or any like cracking of my lips like I did initially, um, so that's something to look forward to. And I've pretty much climatized to the product as well, so I, I really do enjoy it. I think that they're great products. It's a great kit, especially if you are suffering with pigmentation around your lips. Um, some of the products that I use alongside these to maintain my lips, I'll share with you guys. So typically my routine goes like this. I will exfoliate my lips with the scrub. I'll put on the mask for 30 minutes when I'm doing like a face mask or something. And then I will take that off and do the balm. I put on the balm um, at least two hours before going to bed so that the actual lip balm has time to work on my lips. The last thing you want is for it to rub off on your pillowcase. I have said before that I don't think the lip balm is like really thick like it's not an overnight lip balm it's just a serum essentially so after that stays on my lips for two hours before i go to bed i put on another lip mask so this is the i do care plush party buttery vitamin c lip mask and this is what it looks like many people really enjoy the one from laneige i have tried that one but it's not one of my favorites i don't really feel like it did much for my lips but this one does this one feels more buttery and it gives like a mask on your lips for going to bed so i typically use this and it has really assisted with the dryness and that's why i don't experience that much anymore then in the daytime i actually wear this this is the blistex mint spf 15 lip balm and because I'm indoors right now and when I do go outside I'm wearing a mask I find that this is completely fine for me and then in the daytime I'll also apply this ultra repair lip therapy this is from first aid beauty and this is one of my favorites now, if it's not this one that I usually use blistex or the one from carmex that's a really good lip balm too those are my favorites and I'll kind of rotate between which one I have on me to be honest but that's kind of what I do and that's how I've been able to maintain the pigment with the SPF as well as the uh, the hydration or the moisture in my lips with the lip balms is this kit worth it all in all, I think that if you're really experiencing pigmentation on your lips because of either being burned or having just like hyperpigmentation around your lips, non-invasive procedure rather than having to go somewhere and do it, you can obviously go to the store and get a lip scrub and an SPF and you will see some lightening of your lips. Now it won't work nearly as quickly as the kit, but it is definitely an alternative 
alternative that you can use. The only difference here is that you don't have those tyrosinase inhibitors like you do in this product. So if you're really serious, if you have really serious pigment around your lips, then this will really help you. It did help me. It also helped me with the burn that I had around my lips as well. And you guys were asking how I got rid of that. It was with the kit. I actually used it, the mask and the lip balm and the scrub around my lips. And that's what helped me get rid of that too. So that will assist. So do you need the kit? I mean, do you really need anything other than water and SPF? Not really, but if you are looking for something that will work, this kit works. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I loved making it for you guys. Comment down below and let me know, have you tried the kit? What is your experience or your thoughts on it? I would love to hear in the comments down below. Or if you have any other kits similar to this that have worked for you, so we all are able to get a good dupe. Remember to click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.